ocean, over the clouds, and around the world. Here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends. Stinky and Shake! Now it's the Animal Show! Hello, all you little animals out there. I'm Stinky. And I'm Jake. And our guests today are a jaguar and a tortoise. A jaguar and a tortoise. Mm -hmm. Jake, would you excuse us for a second? Oh, Jake, a jaguar and a tortoise have nothing in common. Oh, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They're both part of the same food chain. Uh, that means one animal depends on another animal for food. Oh, I get it. The jaguar goes grocery shopping for the tortoise. That's uh, nice. No, no, not exactly, Stinky. See, what happens is that the jaguar eats the tortoises and the terrapins. What? The jaguar eats them? That's awful! Well, well, Stinky, all animals have to eat to survive. See, you should learn more before you pass judgment. Learn more? Oh, I never thought of that. <laughs> and now it's time for... That's amazing! Hmm. Today, the reptile that can lay the most eggs. Uh Oh, hey, that would be my Uncle Shaky Hawk, a really bad stand-up comic. Wherever he played, he laid an egg. No, uh -huh. Armstrong. I'm talking about the green turtle, who lays 100 eggs at a time. First, she digs a hole, lays the eggs, and buries them. Why, doesn't she like them? That's where the eggs stay until the time is right. Then they hatch, and the baby turtles all race to the sea. In just five months, one green turtle mom can lay as many as 1,100 eggs. Eleven hundred eggs? Wait, she must tell worse jokes than Uncle Shecky. The egg-laying green turtle! Another animal who gets more yolks than yucks and will make you say... <gasps> That's amazing! <laughs> Jake, you're absolutely right. I need to know more about the food chain before I decide I don't like it. Well, I think it's time we all learn more about the food chain from our first guest. From the forest of South and Central America... America! Here is Jasper the Jaguar. I've been working on the food chain all the live long day. How you doing, <laughs> fellas? Great yeah. day to be alive, huh? Yeah, as long as you're not a terrapin. Oh, you'll have to excuse Stinky. He just found out about the food chain, and uh, he's a bit upset. Ah, <laughs> uh, Stinky, the food chain is part of nature. Let me show you what I mean. Oh, okay. You like to eat, don't you, Stinky? Well, sure. Well, that's what the food chain is all about. Eating and surviving. This jaguar here is like every animal in the wild. He's out looking for his next meal. That's a great bird's eye view. Well, thanks, Jake. We were lucky enough to find a bird in my neighborhood who knows how to work a camera. You know, that jaguar really blends into the leaves. That's right. Our spots give us natural camouflage in these forests. If we stand still, no one even knows we're there. That sure helps when we're hunting. And what exactly do jaguars eat? Oh, a wide variety of arboreal, terrestrial, and aquatic animals. Huh? Oh, that just means we eat animals that live in trees, on the ground, and in the water. From peccaries and caiman to fish and terrapins. We're always on the prowl for a meal. Fish and terrapins? So you hunt in the water. But most cats I know hate the water. Jaguars are one of the few cats that like to be near water. In fact, we're very good swimmers. I bet you can't swim better than terrapins. Maybe not, Stinky, but we can sure sneak up on them. Just watch. There's a terrapin just resting on a log, catching some sun. Oh, and here comes the jaguar trying to figure out how to get across the river. Run, terrapin, run! There's a jaguar coming! Oh, I'm sure some of these terrapins will see the jaguar. They'll jump in the water and swim away as fast as their little legs will carry them. But as long as one terrapin stays behind, that jaguar will have its meal. And meanwhile, this jaguar is inching closer and sharpening its claws. Yes, our claws are important for catching and holding our prey, so we try to keep them razor sharp. Jaguars also have a very powerful jaw, which is especially important if you catch a terrapin. Because of the terrapin's hard shell? Exactly. We jaguars have the most powerful jaws in the entire cat family, even more powerful than lions and tigers. Hmm. You know, I've always wondered who they get to test things like that. Probably some poor terrapin. Oh, now, Stinky, I've been trying to tell you. This is all part of how the food chain works, and here it is in action. Oh, my, we're, we're getting closer, aren't we? That's right. Nobody make any noise, and that terrapin should be caught in just a moment. 
Run, Terrapin, run! Run, I'm telling you, run! Oh, run like Stinky, a... be quiet, please. You're gonna warn the Terrapins. Come on. Oh, well, well, looks like we're a little too late, Stinky. That Terrapin is caught. I still don't understand the food chain. What don't you understand, Stinky? Well, if the Jaguar and Terrapin are both part of the food chain, then does that mean the Terrapin gets to eat a Jaguar for dinner, too? Well, it doesn't exactly work like that, Stinky. You see, Jaguars are higher on the food chain than Terrapins. So the Jaguar reads the Terrapin, not the other way around. In fact, Jaguars are at the top of our food chain, so there's nobody to eat us. Oh, now I understand. The food chain is great, if you're at the top of it. Oh, Stinky, it's all part of nature. It is? Well, then, I am resigning from nature. But, Stinky, you... Goodbye. You... Uh... Well, Stinky gets like this sometimes. Actually, he gets like this all the time. Well, I'd better go then so he doesn't get even madder. Thanks for having me on the show. Thank you, Jasper. And now it's time for... <gasps> Baby, Baby Talk. talk. <clears throat> oh, I'm stuck. What about you? Hey. Yeah. Hatching is harder than it looks. Uh, hey, what's taking you guys so long? Come on, get a move on. Let's go, let's go. We're going as fast as we can. Yep. Yeah. Well, I haven't got all day. Anybody else around here hatched yet? Uh -huh, uh? I have, I have. Oh, I don't think I have. Have I? Where am I anyway? Oh. Listen, on the uh, count of three, we're going to hatch. Ready? One. Two, three, go! It didn't work! Yeah. Oh, that's it. I, I'm tired of waiting. I'm flipping out of here. Oh, not without me, you aren't. I had to see, and this turtle is ready to rock. Woohoo! Oh, come on, guys. Wait for us. We can't help it. Our shells won't give us a break. <laughs> oh. Stinky, what are you doing? I'm making a sign for my new club, the Wild Animals Coalition to Keep Ourselves Safe. Wackos. I made up the name myself. Stinky, you are an animal. You cannot resign from nature. Oh, we'll see about that. Right after we see about this. I'm the next guest on the animal show. Oh, I'm very happy for you. Mm. But here's the question. Which of these animals is a jaguar? The leopard, the lion, the tiger, or the black panther? Being a tortoise and lower on the food chain than all of those animals, my only answer is one. Well, if that's a good answer for a tortoise, but not the right answer for us, because the jaguar here is the Black Panther. A Black Panther is, in fact, a jaguar that is black. The term Black Panther is often given to any of the big cats that happen to be black, like the Black Leopard and the Black Puma. But the term was originally given to the Black Jaguar. You can see that, like his spotted cousin, the Black Panther has a very large head and body with legs that are relatively short and thick. It has a keen sense of smell and does most of its hunting at night. 
This is Ronda Rat reporting on the Black Panther. Back to you, Stinky and Jake.